Welcome to another edition of my Fireside Chat. In conjunction with Delta State University's fifth annual Mayor's Summit held on June 19th, Dr. Mark Keenum, President of Mississippi State University and I, held a press conference to announce a partnership between our two universities that will benefit local government leaders and their communities. The focus of this new program, titled the Local Government Leadership Institute, is to assist Delta communities in addressing governance challenges by providing local officials with the knowledge and the tools needed to run their municipalities effectively and efficiently. Well-managed local governments are important not only to the citizens they serve, but to the businesses, industries, and other institutions that are located in those communities. The leadership, management, and infrastructure provided by local governments are key elements in a community's delivery of services and the quality of life efforts. Delta State hosts the Local Government Leadership Institute in partnership with the John C. Stennis Institute of Government and Community Development at Mississippi State and also with the Mississippi Municipal League. Mississippi State's Stennis Institute of Government and Community Development brings a wealth of experience and knowledge to bear on real world issues and they have been a valuable partner in developing the curriculum for this program as well as delivering the workshop sessions. The Mississippi Municipal League, which comprises a voluntary group of elected officials from around the state, have been a key partner in allowing its members to earn credits in their certified municipal officials program by participating in the Local Government Leadership Institute. Since November of, 19, of 2017, the LGLI has provided training for more than 130 elected leaders across the Mississippi Delta. These leaders represent almost 35 Delta area cities and towns. And through the Leadership Institute, participate, participants have collectively earned more than 225 certified municipal officer elective hours that are offered by the Municipal League of Mississippi. Joining me today to talk more about this partnership is Mississippi State's President, Dr. Mark Keenum. Thank you, Dr. Keenum, for joining me today. I really appreciate your being here. Well, thank you, President LaForge. It's a pleasure mm -hmm. to be here with you. Well, and you're great for, uh, to support this and be a part of it. It's a unique partnership, and we're really glad that we were able to come together for this purpose. Uh, tell us why Mississippi State chose to become involved with this, other than the fact that you and I have known a long time. We've been friends a long time. And um, how does this comport with some of the mission and the goals of the Stennis Institute, for example. Well, thank you very much, President LaForge, and I, I want to commend you for your leadership in facilitating this and hosting this very important institute to help work with our, our local leaders who are elected to office who have a lot of serious challenges that they face. And our role is to help assist you and Delta State in working with our local leaders and making sure they understand the important role that they have to play and all the challenges that our mayors and boards of aldermen and boards of supervisors have responsibilities for and to help them from the ground up from the basics of, of their tax structure, their governance structure, their public safety issues, their infrastructure and these are things that we've been doing at Mississippi State through our Stennis Institute of Government Community Development. We've been doing this for I don't know almost four decades mm -hmm. and we're very uh, accustomed to working in this type of environment working with local leaders but to have two universities teaming together, bringing our combined resources together to help work with these community leaders so that they can be more effective in what they're doing uh, is just, like I said, it's part of our role and we're excited to be part of it. Right. Well, we appreciate you all stepping up because you bring a lot of talent and expertise to the table that we frankly don't have here. So it is that perfect storm uh, partnership. Um, with this new institute, uh, uh, do you think it has the real potential for influencing changes in local government? Oh, no question. And we've seen, we see it. We've seen it. We experienced it. And, but to be able to focus through this relationship, through the Mississippi Municipal League, through the funding that you are able to help us bring to the table with the Robert Heron Foundation and the Casey Family mm -hmm. Foundation, the resources will help us do even more effect, effective job in working with our community leaders. There's no question that is, it will and is having a very positive impact right here in the Mississippi Delta. Right. We hear so often that the Delta is kind of the, the black eye of the, the state uh, economically and other reasons. And this is something that I think we can do uh, in a partnership with the communities here, uh, a partnership between us and also with the Municipal League that kind of uh, collaborates in a sense to really help this Delta get better. And we're hoping that it'll develop trust 
confidence in local government, uh, encourage business to move in here right. and uh, bring everybody up. Well, clearly the Delta, like communities all over the state and all over the country for that matter, has unique challenges. And I think the fact that you host the, the Mayor's Summit where you bring leaders together. And what a wonderful thing that you do in that respect because uh, how better to learn about what's going on, what challenges we have that are important than from others that are doing the same thing in the Delta. Mayors who are having unique challenges. Well, how is this community different from one 10 miles down the road or 30 miles down the road? And we can learn from one another. And that's what your summit does. It brings leaders together and it affords them an opportunity to spend time together, to learn from one another. And then this uh, Leadership Institute is providing them with the set of skills that they need to be even more effective in what they're doing so they can address the critical challenges to better serve the citizens of the Delta. So I highly commend well, you and your leadership of Delta State for having the vision to bring them together and to work with us. And we're just honored to be part of it. Well, thank you. And we appreciate what you all bring to the table on this. I would be remiss if I didn't say that you and I share uh, some wonderful years together in Washington. I'm sorry, yeah, staff. Right. That's correct. Uh, those were some incredible days. And I've always uh, cherished those very much. And I want to say to you what a terrific job that we all know you're doing at Mississippi State. Uh, well, Bulldogs are soaring and, and we admire you from afar and we appreciate all you do for higher education in Mississippi. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Absolutely. My pleasure. You bet. In other news on campus, final exams are taking place this week for summer one session. And going forward, if you are interested in taking classes continually this summer, session two for summer school is open until July the 3rd. On Thursday, June 28th, we will host the second orientation session for new students coming to Dell State this fall. We look forward to having the newest members of the Dell State family on campus for this exciting event. And if you plan to enroll at Dell State this fall, there's still time to register for the last orientation session, which is scheduled for July 16th. And as always, to keep up with our news, events, and activities, and for any other information you might need with respect to registration, orientation, summer school, any questions you may have, please visit our website at deltastate.edu. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you the next time on Fireside Chat.